click the bell icon to get latest videos from ikeda hello friends welcome back to the subject of machine design one then in the module number 5 and where we are going to look at the keys and their significances and their types of course let us begin with it so friends as you can see keys is nothing but used to connect shaft with hub so it's a mechanical member that is used to connect shaft with hub so shaft is the member that is used for power transmission so power can be transmitted to the shaft by means of motor but that is the respect to so shaft will transmit the power ahead and the hub is a member or hub is a structure which is made inside pulleys or gears or any other mountings so basically these are the two parts which are connected by means of keys so that is the definition of key when we go to significance there are three main significances very first like we have discussed to transmit torque from the shaft to the hub or to transmit the torque from the shaft to any mounting mounting can be gear it can be pulley and further the torque will be transmitted ahead with the help of belt and all other mechanisms but it is important to transmit the torque from shaft to the hub and that is done using keys second is to prevent relative motion rotation you try to understand the uh, members which we are discussing right now pulleys or gears they always carry some hole inside them and the shaft is fitted inside them so when the actual motion start shaft actually rotates and it is supposed or it is desired to rotate the other mountings along with the shaft so if the key is not present they will always have some relative motion between them and that's why it will be the loss of power to prevent that loss of power we generally use key so that that will firmly hold both of them together and they will rotate together that's why for the prevention of relative rotation we use it and the last thing is safety students try to understand gears or all other mountings they come in cost or they are costlier always so if the failure has to be happen or even shaft that is also costlier if the failure has to be happen it should happen to such a member which is not that costly so keys is the member which will not have that much cost so it embers the key inside them so that when the failure occurs failure will occur for the key and not the main part like hub or shaft so safety of machine specifically hub or shaft and then that is how the product can be safe so that was the significance of keys the next thing is the types the many types of keys we already have learned them in computer aided machine drawing but let us look at only few keys which we are going to solve numerical based on so types of keys are basically sunk key they come saddle key and all other woodruff kind of keys whereas sunk key has a feature that it goes half part inside the hub and half part inside the shaft and that's why square sunk is what we are going to look at flat sunk is what we are going to look at so square sunk basically is a square in cross section flat sunk is a rectangular in cross section where feather key will be having some this kind of nature and it will be having two holes so that we will require another fastener like screw or bolt that will fasten this particular key inside the hub or inside the shaft and then comes the last key which we are going to look at is the woodruff key woodruff key comes in this particular section where this particular section being curved in nature will have the uniform stress distribution so these are the keys we are going to look at in the next section we are going to look at the formulae which are associated with the analysis and solving the problem for the keys thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe to ikira thank you